I, I never really felt I lived in New York. I felt I was passing through. I had this one one room apartment, fairly good sized room. Oh, you know, all the bookcases were double row, and it was filled with this, that, and the other thing. And I had a mummy's head, which I'd bought for twenty-five dollars from somebody when I first came to New York. It was wrapped in um, just you know brown wrapping paper, and it was up. It was on the top shelf of my closet, and I don't suppose I'd looked at it more than once or twice in twenty-five or thirty years, and. Uh, uh, some friends of mine were mo moved all my stuff out of the apartment because I was already at back up here on the Cape. And it didn't occur to me to say, and don't forget the mummy's head. I just assumed they would take everything out of the closet because there were books and things in the closets too. Well, they didn't, and apparently they didn't even notice it. What I heard was the super had found it and called the police. And I got a call from a, a detective at some precinct or other and um, said, Mr. Gorey, we've discovered a, you know, a head, a, a, a head in your closet, you know, and I said, oh, for the God's sake, I mean, really can't you tell a mummy's head when you, I mean, it's thousands of years old. Good grief, did you think it took place over the weekend or what? <laughs>